Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a vertical menu, just like you see here on the left hand side of this website right here. You may not think you can actually do something like this in Wix, but you can. And right now I'm going to show you how. So as you can see right here, this is the header. This is what you would normally see on your website, but today we're going to be switching it over to a vertical menu. So the first step is we're going to go to add. We're going to go to box. We're just going to drag out a box. We're gonna make the width over here 100. And then we're gonna make the height about 1500. Then we're gonna click this align tool and align it to the top. Now let's go ahead and add some lines. So we're gonna to go to decorative, more basic shapes, and we're gonna search for lines. Choose whichever one you want to add. We're gonna change the color of it to something lighter for this example, and we're gonna shrink it down. Now we're gonna drag it into the box. You're going to see the box highlight showing that we're going to attach it to the box. Okay, and then we're going to move it up a little bit. There we go. And then for this example, we're just going to use the logo that the template has. So we're just going to drag this down into the box. We're going to wait for it to highlight and say attach to box. And we're going to release. And just like the line icon up here, we're going to change the color to white. Next, we're going to click the box element. We're going to right click and say pin to screen. We're going to set the position to the top left and we're going to remove the horizontal and vertical offset. All right. Now, if we preview the site, you will see that the left bar has the logo and the icon. Now let's get it to function. So when the user clicks this little icon up here, we want a menu to pop up. So we're going to go to add. We're going to go to interactive. We're going to click subscribe. And we're just going to drag this out. Okay, the first thing we need to do is press layouts. We're gonna set it to the left hand side. Next, we're gonna set triggers. We're gonna say automatically display to no. And we're gonna name this menu. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and delete everything that's on the page currently. We're gonna click the background of it and then press design, color, and we'll do something like the black. Wix automatically puts a border on this little X button. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that border by pressing customize design border and we're going to remove the border. Next, we're also going to move this icon to the left hand side to be in the general area that our icon was in the beginning. Next, we're going to press add, go down to menu. We're going to scroll down to vertical menus and we're going to drag out a menu. We're going to drag this over the light box that we just created. I'm going to press design, customize design text we're going to have the color be white hover we're going to change the change it to a light gray and then clicked we're going to have it be a darker of a gray okay and then we're also going to change the text to be the same text on our current page so this one is montserrat okay so we're going to go down back to our menu we're going to change this to montserrat so we're going to do design customize design text and we're going to type in Montserrat. We're going to do Montserrat bold. So as you can see, we have a menu up here and then we also have some social icons. So what we're going to do is add the social icons down here. So we'll go down to add social and we'll bring out these icons. Okay. We're going to change the layout and lower the icon size to about 24. Okay. Now we're going to press set social links. We are going to remove all of them. We're going to press add icons. And as we can see here in the top, right they use facebook twitter and youtube so we're going to use facebook we're going to grab the white version okay now we're going to add twitter and we're going to add youtube next we can go ahead and reorder them then if we click the icon and press add a link here is where you can post your your link to your facebook page your twitter page or your youtube so now we're going to move this over to where it looks like it's all aligned together let's go ahead and press this little hide controls thing right here We'll click the icon that we just created. We'll link it to a light box. And the only light box that we have created is menu. So we'll press done. Okay. So now that we press preview, now we can actually see the site. So we'll press this little icon right here and we're going to see our menu pops up. However, we just saw that the menu comes out from the right side. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and go back to the editor. We'll go to menu. We'll click the menu, press animated. We'll do customize and we'll do from the left. 
And then we can actually go ahead and delete the stuff on the top navigation bar because we no longer need it since it's already in our menu that we created. And then if you wanted to, you could actually drag these out, delete the header. So now that we have a header that is clear, we can actually go over to menu and pages. We'll go to this three little dots, do settings, layouts, and no header and footer. Next, we can just bring these up so it's in, in alignment with our little icon right there. We'll press preview. And we'll press the little icon just to make sure it works. And great, it is working just as we want. And that's basically how you create a side menu. So if we go over to the about page, you're gonna see that the vertical menu is not there at all. So if we go back to the home page and we click the box with the vertical menu in it, we can right click it, press save my design. We'll call this nav bar. Now if we go back to the about page, we can press add. We'll go down to my designs at the bottom and we'll click nav bar. And your menu will automatically pop up for you. Now that you know how to set up a vertical menu, I do want to show you a little bit of a pro tip. If we add a strip, you're going to see the strip still spans the full width of the site even behind the vertical menu. So if you put anything in these two lines right here, it's going to look centered. However, with this vertical menu, it's still going to seem a little off centered because this is taking up some space. So if you want to, you can press layouts, add column, then you can press the layout button right here and you can shrink this one down to five. There we go. So now you can see that the first strip takes up the same width as our menu. And now the second strip is exactly the width of our, that our content should be to have it actually look centered and clean on the website. And that basically wraps it up for the video today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you learned something, please press that subscribe button because I do have more content coming very soon for y'all. And please press that like button because it helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much and I'll see y'all in the next one.